There she goes again. That's the orbital probe launching. Uh, <laughs> there's an interesting th thing that happens when you play video games and you narrate over it. And uh, if you don't specify, <laughs> if you don't say out loud what you're thinking all the time, then some people assume you don't see it. But yeah, we've, we've noticed the orbital probe cannon is launching. Uh, the other thing that uh, a few of you guys have been mentioning pretty consistently is that, like, why am I not repairing the ship when it's, like, in dire straits? And it's usually because we're near the end of a cycle, and it doesn't matter. So, uh, it's not that we don't notice that it's there, or I should say I don't notice it's there. It's just that it doesn't really matter at that point. Okay, so we need to... We need to try and get into that workshop... So we're going to go back here. We might also see if we can talk to Gabbro again. Um, so we're looking for this little island, and we're looking for this one that's connected by the um, by the kind of little rock bridge or what have you. So we're going to head back there and see if we can get some answers. We'll mark Giant's Deep. And I guess we'll just autopilot over. This is such a weird game. Uh, and I, I like it. I worry that it's a little bit... Like, we're getting a lot of information, but we haven't been able to solve for something yet. And I don't know that that'll necessarily... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen if we solve something. But we're obviously looking for something out here. Uh, that workshop seems crucially important. And we just need to try and get in there, I think. Gabbro's close. Alright, let's thrust up here. Okay. Let's begin the hunt for land. Uh, did those just come down out of the sky? The other thing that we think is maybe happening is... is that um, the cyclones or something else are lifting the islands. And maybe that's a way into the workshop. It could be. I'm going to also see if we can go under, but I just want to find the right spot again. It should be this. Yeah. So I wonder if this gets lifted. And we just simply wait for it to land on top of us. That could very well be the case. I haven't seen a lot of speculation uh, about what these are. Or how they're used. But it does seem like if we, uh, if the cyclones come by, that if we're in there, we don't get, like, we don't get tossed around. Test the memory statues. We've seen these. Oh, it'd be so nice to get down there. Okay. So a couple things we're going to try. We're going to try to... Just get down there via the ship. We're going to go straight under here. Well... We actually won't be able to do that. We're going to have to... 
find a cyclone and go under. Or we just wait. We saw this go up. So we just wait for that, maybe? Where am I losing my... Oh, it's down below. That's why. I don't have a good way over there. We'll have to hit the water a bit. I wonder if... Yeah. And all these cyclones are so far away from here. I wonder if we don't just wait. While that's happening, maybe we can go out to that... Blast of Light. We'll stop and visit Gabriel. This is his fire, I guess. Cautious. We found another ship in the water, too, that we couldn't get into. That might be his. Hoping to be back. Something really weird is going on. <laughs> We're definitely in a time loop. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Cool. <laughs> what did you think it was? I figured it'd be some kind of fidgety time business, but I wasn't really thinking about what's happening in the shape of time, you know? But a loop makes sense here. Let's go with a loop for now. So it looks like you and I are the only ones who know we're in a time loop. And even if you tell them about it, no one remembers the next loop. What's with that? Maybe it's because we both made some seriously intense eye contact with the Nomai statue. I'm seeing my memories replay each time I die, just like I did when the Nomai statue on the beach opened his eyes and looked at me. So maybe no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. Could be. I think that's going to be my leading theory. But if you find out anything new about the statues of time loop, let me know, okay? So what's new? Well, uh, we found a few things. We found something. What you got for me? Uh, I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa, that's cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop. For real? Figure out why? Yeah, too much power. Kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slater Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised to know my built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else. That's it. That's all we can share. What about... Let's see if he has any other options here. Right flash in the sky at the start of every loop. Which is probably just the orbital probe cannon launching then. Statue Island. Beach of the Statue Island glowy business. Feel like checking out Statue Island, which we've been to. Where's your ship? Definitely on the planet somewhere? <laughs> It is, uh, but there's nothing we can tell him about it, so. Okay, I guess that's it. We did get an updated log that we'll check. Gabber remembers dying, saw the memories flash before their eyes. Gabber and I seem to be the only ones aware we're in a time loop. Alternate, more dangerous route. 
The bottom's filled with water. Which makes me think, like, we can get in from underneath, or we have to wait for it to be... thrown up into the air. The thing is, if that red flash, that can't be the orbital cannon, right? That's got to be something different. Because we're not at the beginning of a time loop. So what do I do? Like, should I just be hovering here, waiting for this? Or, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh... Is this an already accessible spot? Have we been here? I don't think so. Dudes. Okay. <laughs> Wait. We're in. Holy frick. Talk about overcomplicating it. This best be a doozy. Oh boy. Yoro, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? Oh. That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in our star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. This extraordinary sculpting work flocks. He's outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single, or a single, Nomai's memory to his or her own storage unit within the Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Whoa. Use more of those discs. Ash Twin. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin project flocks. They look beautiful, although I feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Indeed, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, statues will also activate in the event of an equipment failure. They will. Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ashwin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. We've seen this in the other one. Okay, so we're in the workshop. Finally. Whoa. Yeah, see? We're like safe in these things. Not letting me leave it. Weird. I 
I wonder if... I'm not seeing a way up there. And perhaps we need that water to throw us up in that direction. I think so, yeah. There's no way up there. Okay, well, while we wait for that to come back again, let's check the new log. Okay. Now, my statues were designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, send those memories to a storage unit in Ash Twin. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which we, we saw in that little vision there, which could then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. Statues were designed to only activate once the Ash Twin project succeeded or in the event that it failed. Every memory recorded by Nomai statues transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within the Ash Twin. So if we can access those, maybe, then we would be able to figure out what the other guys went through, if they're, if they're accessible like that. The problem here now is that I've got no... Well, actually, what if I just... I'm just going to land this up there, maybe. It's going to be tight. And I might be blocking something. Wait, did I go to the wrong one? I think I went to the wrong one. Yeah, this is the one with the stairs. We want to go across. It's not pretty. Definitely suboptimal. I don't even know if we can land it up there. I don't... We might not be able to. It's like pushing us back. Okay, we'll have to wait for the water. So, I'm not sure if there's something that we're supposed to be, like, if there's something we're supposed to find specifically, or if this is kind of saying, well, we maybe we need to head to Ash Twin. There's that orbital probe thing that we're, we got a lot of info on. Kind of feels unresolved. And I'm not sure. This is the faces that we see when we look at the Ash Twin section. And it looks like this is just the transmission. It's like this is the user. Share, giving the memories here. This thing sending it here. To the Ash Twin. And the Ash Twin sending it back to the user. I think. But I really would like to get up top there. And I don't know how often these cycles happen. We're about to find out. We've been here for a bit. I imagine it's not even hugely important, but it'd be nice to know. At least if we don't find any information here, we know exactly how to just get into the workshop from underneath. 
No problem. This might be permanently open now, too. I don't know if the time loop will reset that or not. Somebody was also saying that if we talk to Gabbro, we could, like, initiate some type of meditation that would reset our... our day. And potentially that's... Oh, here we go. Ooh. Maybe? There. Nice. All that's up here is that one piece of writing, but... I'm curious, is sending a... a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? This is an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose the time was being rewritten. I believe this is different from receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? What the frick? What would I want to take this for? I'm honestly not sure. Ouch. All right, well, we're probably reaching the end of our loop here. There's going to be some times where we don't get a lot done. We did find our way in here, which is, you know, pretty nice and has helped us understand what they're doing a little bit. Um, but in terms of resolution, we still don't have any for anything. So this whole thing, like the probe tracking module... There must be a way to... F Maybe we have to find each of these individual modules or something. Hmm. I'm a little bit stuck, I think. But maybe, maybe we're not. Maybe that's how we're supposed to feel right now. I'm not sure. And try and get us out of here, but... We might be stuck. Yes, I am aware of the damage. I will fix it. If I can. There's nothing I can fix. Ah, uh, we can do it in here. Whoa! Alright. Same difference. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I might need... I, I If you guys uh, have played this and you're watching, and you, uh, without spoiling, can give me, like, a hint on where to go or if we're on the right... Just I just need to kind of know if I'm on the right track. And if I'm not, then... Uh, We'll make some other attempts here and maybe visit somewhere else. But we got into the workshop. I thought that was going to be more revelatory. I thought there was going to be a little bit more happening there. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit stuck, I think. But if you guys want to help out, that'd be great. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.